Hello, hello, hello. Today we're in Shrewsbury in Shropshire. Uh, we're going to have a little look around and see what the history is all about. Uh, brief kind of um, quick fire history that I've just kind of found out. Uh, essentially, they reckon this town's generally settled and f properly like founded as a town in 901 AD. Although uh, there is evidence of Neolithic um, people living here from 2000 BC and they found evidence of that at the old church of the Sutton men, something like that. We're going to go and find it anyway and see what they're on about. But um, yeah, so loads and loads of history and uh, not too much infrastructure put in here. So that's something. Um, so hopefully a lot of the old stuff is retained. There is a railway, so things have been ploughed out of the way. I'm literally parked by one right now. Just that bridge room for there, but plenty of things around. Look at that. Who knows? Uh, we got some spires over there. Plenty going on. So literally it's me and the dog and we're going to have a little day out in Shrewsbury because I finally got a bloody day off. Life is much busier since furlough ended, right? So uh, I'm going to use the whole time to see what the crack is in Shrewsbury and thanks for joining me. Here we go. Speed the plough. Hang on, stop. So everything's pretty old around here, uh, Meadow Place, um, all these buildings down there. You've got these kind of crazies this side, all the low brickwork as per, but in here, you can see how old this stuff is, which they're not hiding, but uh, yeah, Shrewsby's very old, so uh, we'll see what else it's got. Shrewsbury is an incredibly busy little place, uh, apparently. Dog's getting used to it though, he's doing really well. Um, so yeah, lots of old, 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 old stuff here, as you can see. Old bits of town wall or whatever. I mean, look at that. Nothing to do with the new build, but older shit. Uh, so we're going to go and have a look at the castle wall. Look at this. Venetian stuff on the chip, on the carpet shop. Come on then. So we're going to hit the stairs. Look the old lamppost. Brill. Good boy. Well done, mate. Well done. Right, Shrewsbury Castle, just here. It's old. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, tall old buildings. We're very high up. These buildings meet in the same level. Look at that bad boy. So a lot of history here. Um, just to show you the scale of the height of this mound that the castle is on, uh, we have got like a pub or something off the castle wall, and that's like four stories, which is pretty big. Uh, but it might explain like your weird top doors, like we saw at St John's Ambulance the other day, when you've got like something like this top door on top of like a, a chimney-ish structure, as you can see here. And maybe if you take these bridges away, that's where you end up with doors up in the air for no reason. 
but look at the depth of that four floors and we're up here so uh come on in yeah man it's a pretty crazy place i'm glad i came i've only been here for the best part of like 10 minutes as well and seen loads and ignored loads so i'm gonna have to go back around and uh look at some more but look at all this why why all the things no idea and then also i mean this is nice in a kind of architecturally grand way but the fact that they could do this like a thousand years before is absolutely nuts so roman history in shrewsbury is a thing um oh god roxley or some shit can't remember what the name of the place was down the road but essentially a lot of people came from there and it's got an old latin name which isn't its name anymore roxley i don't know it's not a history lesson we're here just to look around and figure out how crazy this place is without trying to learn too much um but yeah if we've got the the roman influence look at that guy i mean i don't know who he is but i mean that's the prison i see shrewsbury prison so there's its uh i mean first of all there's the castles major big wall right up there you can see all that uh, train station directly outside another old kind of churchy thing or a pump house not sure down there old power lines here mental but yeah lots of people in Shrewsbury today here comes another train load doggy just nailed the stairway come here down to the river did all those well done and uh, yeah we're down where are we the river seven i imagine it's gotta be so i imagine we're on the seven hopefully we'll get some confirmation <laughs> at some point guys look look at the old bridge and the new bridge now we're like right underneath the castle now it's kind of we've walked down quite quite a few meters maybe 50 or so we'll see what the old bridge was like compared to the new ones structure I mean with the invention of the iron and these kind of works obviously we came a long way but for what they chose to do instead was much more impressive back in the day in my humble opinion how do you do it even now I wouldn't know it's start but I'm not a bridge builder but getting these things footed under the river it's always impressive. There you go. Bit mental. Oh yes, we are on the seven and that's a viaduct. I don't know what all that was. That's bridges. Okay, walking back up from the river, St. Mary's Water Lane. Nice old arch. Now, what was that part of before? I'm pretty sure there's an abbey around here, is there? All these old archways. And why covered up? Why windows in the first place, whatever they were? Where did the arches go? These things we'll never know. I don't know if this is classic window tax. Obviously you see all your windows always bricked up because back in the day they could probably taxed you more for it, like the bedroom tax. But look at this place. First of all, it's not underneath a lot, but also painted on windows. Which I don't think I've seen before. Look these. Can dogs go in? 
Not sure. Wow, look at the size of these. Go on in. Where'd you fall from? Hey. We don't know. Who knows? a window. Why? These things turned into uh, into churches once they've finished being castles, potentially. So, yeah, why? Why would you build it like that? Who knows? The Churches Conservation Trust. I don't know if we can have dogs in there. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So many ages here. Interesting uh, bit of history for you here on the front of St. Mary, the Virgin's Church in Shrewsbury. Let this monument record the name of Cadman. In the future, times proclaim how, by an attempt to fly from this high spire, well, we can't even see it, um, across the South Bean Stream, he did acquire his fate, and it was not for the want of skill or courage to perform the task he felt. No, no, a faulty cord being drawn too tight, hurried his soul on high to take our flight, which bid the body here beneath good night. 1739. So, the jackass of the time failed. Hey, I haven't mentioned it yet. Shrewsbury, the birthplace of Charles Darwin. Right? Of the evolutionary theory. Of the theory that everyone in the world is pointless and grew from fish and definitely isn't made in the image of God, which you know is pretty interesting. Everyone went for it. And now it's the, uh, it's the norm when it comes to uh, science and where all these silly humans came from. Which is crazy that people took that on. Nowhere near as interesting as the God theory, but there you go, that's people. So essentially, no matter where you go in the country, they're all the same. It's another really nice historic high street. But uh, the same shops you get everywhere else, obviously. So I haven't seen a Primark yet, I'm sure that's coming up. But in general, we've got the works, we've got boots, boots with their sign underneath the doors, because it's probably graded. Uh, boots always taking the largest shop, usually, in every town you go to, I'm not sure why. Pippin's doing a great job. But, um, there we go. Oh, we're in Newtown. No, Newtown Nith one book. I don't know what that means. No idea what that means. But yeah, so really nice. It is a Saturday. You can't see many masks actually, which is quite exciting, isn't it? But uh, yeah, same as everywhere else. Bus far. So, Market Square ish. He's ignorant, sorry mate. <laughs> he tries. You want to have a go at people? You want to have a go? Yeah. We're a year in now, but we don't have much chance to go out, do we? <laughs> Lockdown dog. No. Oh. Thanks for trying, guys. <laughs> All the best. Um, yeah, so market hall, old square thing. Something about this statue ordered to be taken down from the Welsh Bridge in 1791. And what's that? 15th day of evening was this building begun. Oh, no, it's old school. There you go. Right, no point. We're going down the Gullet Passage. Who knows what that means? Good boy. Good. Right. Oh, more blocked up. Windows down here. It's crazy what we've ended up doing with these old spaces. Always an old nice pub, which is fine. But the rest, never sure what to do with it. Um, Malvern tends to put record shops in these uh, small corners of the town. Look at all the bricked up things. They just 
Buildings on buildings on buildings, next to new buildings, built with old buildings, adapted, added on. Who knows? I mean, I can't, you can't figure that out, can you? There you go. There you have history. So, the market hall. Not with a ton of shit. Very similar to. Oh gosh, what's that place? Ledbury, with their um, raised up pub, which I think was for the floods. Not sure, I mean, they're saying this is uh, Mark Hill, the upstairs was for corn. But there you go. Little bit of history for you. Excellent. Oh, now, it's a cinema and a cat. But lifting it. Which is exciting. Creepy demons. Lions reading books. <laughs> Weird. Weird. So we're back on the subject of buried buildings, as always. And um, these ones, as you can see, would you build it like that? I don't know. Seems to be a lot of things built on angles here, which is fine. But um, the story is uh, they they built them like this, so you kind of dig out the foundation, push it all to the front, which creates the road, and then build from you know maybe two floors underground leaving these exposed extra floors that pop up over the pavement and um, the story goes they're coal holes then and you everyone's coal powered so like the guy would come around with the coal and fill the hole with coal and then your little basement's ready to go that's where all your fuel is and that's the story but honestly i don't see enough of the coal hole holes i mean here you go here's another one all the way down there so the story is it's for coal and then eventually you got people using these floors for actual uses for people so um they put these glass things on the pavement which we'll show you in a second this way and they're supposed to like um disperse light really well so you could have a floor underground with essentially daylight these really fancy pieces of glass that they had built so um oh the parking here's a nightmare isn't it you can't park. Okay, we're gonna sneak in. Go, 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 go. Go on, Pip. Go, 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 go. Right, these skylight glass things by Haywards Limited for uh, London. Uh, this one has a bobber. This one went fancy with it, but has bricked it up since. As you can see, oosh, don't want it. But these things, actually quite a lot of tech in these glass squares, apparently. Really good at dissipating light, but who knows. And what I am enjoying about Shrewsbury, which I haven't actually seen in many places before, is the built-in boot scrapers. Um, just here. Just kind of scrape your boot before you go in. And they're everywhere. It's not the first one, it's a much fancier ones around. But um, I'm liking the built-in boot scraper. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh, you can lead the dog to water. Hey. I think their house is made out of cemetery wall <laughs> somehow definitely the first cemetery with a uh, well graveyard with houses surrounding it well, we've got a little bit of a history lesson for this bit of building that's left uh, the old St Chad's we have a St Chad's in Birmingham but uh, there we go feel free to pause uh, essentially it sounds like is this the church when they tried to dig out the, um, God, what's it called now? The crypt underneath. I think they tried to expand the crypt and then the whole thing fell over. Because they're saying this one fell down pretty spectacularly. Uh, collapsed sensationally in 1788. And I think that's, yeah, digging out the crypt. But going all the way back to 901 and probably before, we've got... Powys, 7th century. So yeah, old as shit, this place. Right, very reefy, greeky building on its own in an alleyway. Um, so they had a lot of building materials to use in Shrewsbury back in the day and they liked their reefs just like everyone else but I thought this was weird Coffee House Passage Is that where we are? Yeah, Coffee House Passage So 
Let's see what's down here. Oh, Pippin's not too sure. We're going in, mate. What's this? I have nice artwork. Why not? There we go then. Bricked up doorway, as usual. Bricked up window. So all change. That's all it used to do. Just some bars here. Bricked up, bricked up, bricked up. is in a hole. Wasted a lot of time putting doorways and windows in back in the day. They never lasted. <laughs> Crazy. Not sure where the coffee house was either, but there you go. Oh, we're back at the market hall. How exciting. The the back end of this building. It was the museum. Sure, what it was before. I imagine a bank, something like that. Pippin's oh. looking out for the arches and the boot scrapers. Hello. Every single building down here. Coal hole. Boot scraper. Coal holes. Um, yeah, so this is just how they put in boot scraper. Okay, one more before we pack up. Boot scraper. The bells. The bells. Not sure what this is. It's nice to hear the music. It's not particularly at any time at all, I don't think. Uh, what time is it? Don't know. Can't check the time when you're filming. I don't think it's ten past three. It might be. Hello, car park. Brilliant. make you wonder what was so special about bells. Um, every town has them. Every cathedral, church will try and have them. A Carillion maybe. But bells seem to be one of the biggest things in the human experience that we've ever kind of come up with. A bit crazy. The weight of some of these bells. When you're building these buildings in like the 16th century maybe even earlier than that and they can still get a like a seven ton bell up there somehow and make it work and they're all perfectly tuned but it's lovely and the uh the graveyard next to the bell towers was remodeled as a woodland walkabout in 1985 so god knows what this was before i imagine just a crowded cemetery in there Check the years, what are we saying? Guesses, 1800s I'd say. 1801. Just there. Right, so, it'd be nice to get into the 18th century, wouldn't it? Doesn't ever seem to happen, 1820. No. And it must be said, uh, if you're struggling to find somewhere to take a piss, when you have a dog and you're doing a city break, um, I guess just choose the local graveyard. That was pleasant. And I don't think it was wrong. It wasn't on a grave, just on some weeds. Uh, but yeah, happy that happened. Let's go across here and see what the crack is. Eighteen sixty-eight. No good. So yeah, very actually quite similar to uh, St. Paul's. Much bigger. But the whole rounded tower thing. And imagine how big that cross is on the top as well. So I don't know what style of kind of church or whatever this is when things are all round and not quite as angular. But uh, very pleasant. A little bit of history on St. Chad's it turns out. So this church was consecrated in August AD. Oh, I'm going to have to figure that one out when I get home. 11th of March, 11th of Bird, 113. Uh, and it was done on St. Chad's Day, so that's why we're going to call it St. Chad's. Okay. 
and we got boot scrapers. Right, so there's a nice park just opposite St. Chad's and I hear the sounds of a pikey fair. So just like the last episode, you try and go somewhere nice and find out the history and they've already plonked some waltzes on it and they're probably playing Holly Valance. So uh, I can hear the dreaded bass tones off the park. So um, yeah, we're gonna go and see what they're doing over there. Whilst we're gonna leave these nice quaint views of St. Chad's and the park. So this is nice, it's on the river. Just like, uh, where were we? Stour Bridge? Similar. But, uh, is that a workhouse up there? What was it? Not too sure. We'll find out. Definitely the, uh, the forefront of the whole landscape here. Or is that the point? Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, lovely gardens. Why won't they build on it? It's the city centre. It's next to the river. Really good for commerce. Is it protected? Maybe. But, uh, Always space for a, for a few caravans and screaming children, no matter what. Crazy. So you join us for our sit down and cool down and we're sat by the last remaining stone that they used to tie livestock to so they could graze the fields in circular allotment zones, making sure all the herbage was eaten and down and nice and trimmed right now. I think the council do it now. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that stone there used to tie a, a load of animals to it, 16 foot radius, and uh, they trimmed the grass. And I imagine it was just covered in these stones. Is that what they're saying? It doesn't look like you can tether much to it. I'm not sure what they're on about. But uh, here's the plan. It's good, isn't it? Definitely been repaired as well. All right, I'm gonna have a fag. Got an exceptional fluffer. I hear you. <laughs> Whoa. How can it be hot? So here it comes, the workhouse bit, the foundling hospital. So we go. Darwin, blah blah blah, but this main building originally built in 1760 to 65 as a foundling hospital to the design of Thomas Farnall's Pritchard and became part of Shrewsbury School in 1882. So yes, workhouse, just like Highcroft, just like probably many by you, to be honest. Foundling hospitals for all the missing, well, not the missing children, but the found children with no parents at the time. What was going on? I don't know. And here's St. Chad's. That's built in 1790 to 1792. Has the largest circular nave in Britain. There you go. We got facts. Bridge shot. I mean, they keep calling this the quarry, but I'm pretty sure it's a river. Um, lots of converted factories down there into houses, and then all these back gardens which come onto the bank of the river, which is awesome. Um, but here, the Crown Pub, we've got some tunnels underneath as well. So we're gonna see, we've got a bridge there. So we're gonna cross the bridge. Let's see what the front's all about. I imagine it's pretty old school on that side. Then we'll get the other bridge back. So as far as memorials go, it's a pretty good one for a surgeon. So this guy, I don't know what year it is. I need to learn how to read these Roman numerals, man. But yeah, all of this for William James Clement, surgeon of the town. Big appreciation, big up surgeon. Oh, there he is. All plaque removed, who knows? Different coats of arms. There you go. Recognise. Four old buildings by the river. Boot scrape has been blocked up. Oh, why? This seems like an important place. This whole estate comes along new for them. I wonder if that was for the wine. Don't know. Crazy. Go on in, Bib. Check out the view from the car park. Oh dear. Go on in. Oh, old walls of old things. So that has been wiped out here again just to become a car park. Always the way. 
for the amount of industry that did go on here before. Bit of a shame that this is the legacy. Legacy? What's in there? Yes. I don't know. But there you go. More spires and things surrounding this area, so we'll go and see them. Oh, there's a bridge. Shrewsbury's massive. Lots to see. Only problem is, Doggo's getting tired. So I might have to return another time. Tanner's wine oh, through there. So this used to be the entrance to the town. From this side. Bizarre. See if we can get to the river. Yeah, I think we can. Can't tell you what bridge we're on, but pretty nice view. Over there. There will be rivers. There will be old buildings. Looks like it was flooded up to there at some point. Or we'll dug out, maybe. Bizarre. But no idea where, where I am at this point. We're just uh, taking in the scenery. And we have facts. So, the English bridge was built in 1768-1774. Six years to build this on the site of an earlier bridge. In 1921-1927 it was taken down a completely rebuilt. Steep gradient and hard its width. Oh, it's width really, it's increased by 20. Six and a half feet. Every soundstone in the original structure was reused. So there you go. Here's a new term I haven't come across yet. So we've got a bit of a church, 1860s, whatever. This thing, it's saying it's the Shrewsbury National School, built in 1708, but enlarged in 1896. Enlarged. Not something you usually uh, come across. So I thought that was pretty cool. And stop. Good lad. Jidjidj trains this time, I believe. The flaming grey and abbey. What do you mean? Okay, this must be something special. We'll find out what that is in a minute. Some old walls here. Old walls there. The building built into it. That's incredible. Well, there we go. But everything's referring to abbeys around here. Uh, abbey use only. That abbey, whatever. Oh, Crown Inn doesn't really count. But yeah, definitely an abbey, which means there was much, much more to this before. And everything seems to be made out of this red, huge brick, which is like weathered. Well, I guess, if it's been like. Has it been a thousand years? I don't know. We'll find out when this was built. But these bricks seem to take a hammer in, as they're still part of most buildings here. But clearly not the same. These foundations of most things are completely different to what's built on top of them, which we've seen before. But look at this. What have we got here? Reverence Sanctuary, 1640. Which is nice to see a date that's not 1800s for once. So what else has been knocked off? I guess that's all new. Ish, half, a, half an arch up there. It's been blown apart. Napoleon blown apart. <laughs> I mean, how much effort does it take to smash these things down anyway? And they all take a whack at some point, don't they? There you go. This definitely had loads coming off it. There's an old doorway for an old corridor, I imagine, that ran both sides. So maybe like a gallery. <sighs> Crazy all the time. Our cornerstone from 1835, 35, 80 something, 86. Oh, so not that old here. It's got a fixed end. A new Masonic cornerstone laid by the Honourable Mrs. McLacken back in the day, but nothing to do with what we're looking at. Um, so yeah, this is the refurbed end 
kind of piled all the grains here as well to throw you off. There's no doubt this ran all the way down there. Huge bit of land, lots of mounds and stuff. Lots of things covered up, I imagine. Okay, this blown off the side as well. Right there. So what's all this old stuff? It's crazy, everything's been smashed up and we're kind of living in a theme park as far as I'm aware. So we don't know what it generally was for. We've got a vague idea, surviving documents, whatever else, but really, we're so far behind now when you look at what we did build and what we did come up with. Look at this. Uh. All right. So this, this could be the old transept end. It's been cut off the other side as well. You can see that gallery corridor still running around the whole thing. It would have ran over there somewhere. It's been cut off here. It's the old arches. Don't think they're buttresses. Definitely came all the way out. So yeah, more old crazy stuff. Thanks, Rosemary. Boom. So we're right about the transept. It's been blown off. Still got this bit here. And the tower. This is the west tower surviving. We have cloisters over here in the main road. The refectory over there. Here we go. It's the lunch time. Found it in 1083. 1836. Thomas Telford planned to have the A5 built, which I believe is this road. So there you go. Everything out the way for infrastructure seems to be the way. Uh, another bit, there's the abbey just over there behind the tree. But uh, here, I don't know if this is part of it, it's definitely the old kind of brick, the thick red stuff. But look at the buried arches. This is, uh, this is stacked, isn't it? This is completely surrounded by, God knows, the road now raised up. But why the archways? And it's half a one there. Crazy windows blocked up. Random bits of brick. New and old. Mental. Lots of it. And uh, here's the, the new rail bridge. I say new, I imagine. Middle of the 19th century, maybe. Maybe newer. Whoa, feels much cheaper here. 144 this morning, where I got it from. 132. You bastard. It's always supposed to be the Tudor period. These are wooden beams and mostly wooden wattle and door walls. It's very brick I and mean, then like obviously we've already gone from major brickwork and then to woodwork and then back to brickwork. Uh, so yeah, we always said the Tudor period is quite a bizarre one. And a little bit to a point. But there you go. Have a bit of history for you. Another church. Good boy. More walls. Every bend is of a church. Ooh, big. And an alleyway. And we've got pub meals in here. Huh? Oh, no, there's the free fishes. Sticker with the Tudor Rose. St. Alkmund's. Just next to St. Alkmund's, we got St. Julian's. Saint, uh, is that the same thing? No, no, there's this, there's that, there's, there's loads. There we go. 
a Spanish restaurant <laughs> in the old vestry. Amazing. Well, you got to make use of it. You do. These old gates. This place is pretty mental, actually, isn't it? What's that? Julian's detached parish churchyard. Here, in what was once his garden, lies John Oakley. 1890. Weren't that old? 71 to 19 or 40 odd? 42? Oh no! Come on, you. Hair place. Everywhere looks like the staircase next to the, uh, the house in The Exorcist as well. We've got Shropshire Trading Limited. Oh. 1996, better remember. Okay, we're gonna attempt some stairs again. Yeah, it's bank bringing the brutalist architecture to Shrewsbury. If you have enough history like this and everything's fairly beautiful, why wouldn't you throw up a massive concrete structure for the bank? Ah, hey, it's what it is. Okay, literally only filming so we don't get clocked by these uh, charity people on the high street. So you can just act busy and film yourself. They won't bother you. That's a nice walker. Lovely. But yeah, you can see Shrewsbury, nice place. Definitely worth a visit. Um, it looks like they're out of the lockdown completely now. Everyone's acting like they're normal. They've even got signs up saying, it's nice to see your face. Which is good. So uh, yeah, quite impressed. All in, plenty more to see. Go try and find a pub now and sit down for a bit because it's uh, been a lot of walking around. Just when I was thought we were done with religious buildings. One more. St. Nicholas, the Bistro Bar and Boutique Hotel. It's all about reusing the holy spaces in Shrewsbury because there's bloody hundreds of them by the looks of it. I'm not sure of the age of this. No, not a clue. Of course it was going to be a bistro. Really converted. Regimental Museum and Castle. Go and have a look. Regimental Army Museum. Now, I can't remember what I read on that Wikipedia earlier about the cool stuff as far as uh, military nostalgia memorabilia goes, but it's got some. But I can't remember what it was. But honestly, military history doesn't really excite me at all. I think armies are mad. Conscription is what it is, but armies nowadays, come on. Come on, guys. There's Darwin. Oh, boy. Kind of crazy. And more wall, my like castle, whatever, part of the street. I think I walked up here earlier. Brilliant. We're nearly home. Full circle pit. It's definitely the first time I haven't nearly got lost walking around. So, castle wall entrance, I think. Who knows? Hmm. Little door for little people. Big door for big people. Where's my size? All oh, right, there you go. A bit of a castle, not gonna focus, is what it is. Enjoy. <sighs> cool. Don't think it's open. Hey ho, didn't come too far. Wasn't here for that, you know what I mean? It's all good. So the last bit before we go, uh, Shrewsbury train station. Is there? Not sure on the year, not sure when and why, but it is impressive. Uh, major railway town at the time. I don't know any history about it apart from the castles right next to it. And there's all these arches and who knows what else. But there you go. And there we go. Established 1828, reborn in 2017. Bad place. We'll definitely return, read up, hopefully get some more learning on the go when I get home about all this stuff. But I've been very impressed and it's been a lovely day and I'm absolutely starving now, so we're going to go home. Thanks for joining us. It's Shrewsbury. Oh, also known as Salopia, the county. So Salopian Brewery, all that. It's this way, in Shrewsbury. Okay, there you go. So we're out of there. We've just come under those train bridges which get you out of the main city centre and land you in 
what every town has. It's just a run down, God knows, of a high street with a few closed down pubs. The Rock and Fountain, a few kebab houses, pizza, all that. Oh, another free house, Britannia in. But generally, uh, a bit run down, and this, this tends to happen outside city centres. Gentrification will come, and it'll all be okay. But until then, I imagine it's pretty cheap accommodation for the foreigners.